It's been eight months since the remnants of Tropical Storm Fred rolled through the Twin Tiers and caused massive flooding in Woodhull and the surrounding areas. New York State announced $87 million in funding to go towards communities still rebuilding today. Some residents say their requirements to get FEMA funding aren't worth the effort. So I mean, why is Kurt Martone reports? Flood cleanup has stretched into its eighth month for Cadia State's catering company. They've done this without state or federal assistance, just themselves, through sweat, hard work, and their own cash. And the parameters around it, it would have probably been farther ahead for us to actually take out a loan. Stephanie Katie continues to work her day job as a chef at Corning, Inc., and her husband, a professor at Alfred State. It's seven days a week, 24 hours a day. You know, you, you need to... You work your, your job and then hurry home and either A, you know, we have, we set goals each week. We have this whiteboard list right here and, and it's, you know, this is what we want done by this day. This is what we want done and, and trying to get it so that, you know, come August when it's time for me to renew a health permit, I can say, hey, I'm ready. Come in here, inspect this place and let me open this place up. Now they are about 80% done with everything that they have to finish, but other buildings around town haven't even been touched. The post office next door hasn't been touched. Um, there's houses right across the street. You can look at houses that haven't been touched. Stephanie, frustrated about the lack of direction from the state. She wishes they had a better plan. And there's still people that they don't have the means to do what we're doing, so they just they just walk away. But it's frustrating. I mean, yeah, I wish someone would have came from the sky and said, all right, this bill, this business here, you know, this needs to get gutted and this is what needs to happen to fix it. But that's that's not at all the case. Reporting in Woodhall, Kurt Martone, WENY News.